you know, I've been getting ready. Well, I've been sitting here browsing the internet, trying to avoid go to work, but it comes to us all, doesn't it? Anyway, I'll be getting my stuff ready for work. Got me bag, a phone, a vape, vape liquid, and my little iPod shuffle. Look at that, don't she look cute? You're just the cutest little thing I think I've ever seen. <laughs> anyway, I've been looking everywhere for my earphones. You know where they are, don't you? In my ears. I ask you. My windscreen. Covered in muck. Been reading in the copy. Oh, I haven't got the proper cradle. I wonder if it will stay up there. Well, I'm going to show you my entire commute to work now. I think you're pointing to the left a little bit, but that's what I do politically. <laughs> Boom! Satire bomb. Got a big splodge right in front of you. So that might be avian related. Let's give you a wash. It's been in the news that some people are paying a fifth of their income just for their commute via train. That's terrible. I don't think I'd bother if it gone to that really. Well, I suppose if I was being paid a huge amount, I might. Let's move you over a tiny bit. The rains are gone. It's going to be a lovely sunny day today, which of course means starting the day with a voice conference indoors probably I suppose I could do it from my van as long as I can get near enough to a Wi-Fi signal for Skype and then I've got another indoor meeting anyway just to make you commuters really sick Sorry folks, see you later. Just when you think you've seen it all. <clears throat> I'm glad I didn't have a camera going really. I was driving through a 30 mile an hour limit. I was actually probably just a shade over the limit. And this little old lady, and I mean old, 65, 70 perhaps, overtakes me, round a blind bend, hasn't got a clue really. Anyway, I happened to draw up alongside her in traffic, sorry old cam's a bit wobbly. I thought, you know what, I won't let it turn to anger. So I just pull up alongside her and give her a wave as if to say, well, that got you far. And she's only sitting there drinking a can of Kestrel Super. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh. And I thought, my, my mind was buggered up. Poor old bird. Oh, I don't know, it's terrible really, but... You know, it's 8.15 in the morning. She's overtaking people up round blind corners, doing about 15 or 30 mile an hour limit. 
and she's already hit the bottle or the can. She gave me a smile and look, looked away. Oh, I don't know, perhaps she's got stuff going on in her life. We all have, haven't we? I don't know whether to be surprised, angry, sad or ashamed of myself because I don't know, there but for the grace of God go us all, I suppose. Well, I've got about 10 minutes to go before my voice conference or Skype conference, whatever you want to call it. And I'm doing this on the way to another meeting. So it's going to be meetings, meetings, meetings. I've got heaps of work to do, so... <laughs> but, um... Do you know, attention has been brought just lately to the state of my drinking apparatus. Namely, my trusty coffee cup. I've had this for years. I think it was my wife's originally. And, uh... I lost it for a while. They went back to a site. And, uh... Saw it sitting on the top of a filing cabinet in a disused room. I thought my cup reunited and it feels so good. Anyway, this is what bothers people. You could call that dirt, grime, disgustingness. But in the antiques trade, we call that patina. And that actually will bring value to this coffee cup in a few years time. So the last thing you should do is clean this off if you find it on an antique such as my cup. And you know what they say, what doesn't kill you will only make you stronger. Now whoever said that wants shooting. What a pillock. <laughs> Someone somewhere done some research to say that vaping might not do your lungs a lot of good, but I don't know. Anyway, I joined the Skype meeting three or four times. I was the only one on it, so well, it's been cancelled. So I'll get out of my meeting clothing and into my work clothing. And use this lovely weather to go and I'm getting old I have to grab on for things for support we all need a bit of support sometimes don't we so I don't know whether I got it wrong or whatever and I double check my calendar on my phone and my other meeting that I was going to go to isn't till Thursday I was talking to a colleague yesterday I'm sure he thought it was today so, I think everyone's losing the plot, or is it just me? A bit of tea, that rhymed, a little poem. There you go, I've girded up my loins, as it says in the Bible. Driving my train is because my work boots are great big clod hoppers and they're not very safe to drive in, I don't think. Anyway, so I shall go and paint a door instead of sitting in a meeting. <laughs> well, while I'm just finishing me cup of tea, I thought I'd do a local news roundup. Suffolk news beat. Uh, top story today from my local source of news and information dry day forecast across Suffolk and North East Essex today so there you go it's the headline it's not going to rain well whoop de doo uh, here's another earth shattering news item no reports of hold up on railway and roads this morning there are no reports of any hold-ups with travel on the railways and roads this morning across Suffolk and North East Essex. Poo, poo, poo. 
and most importantly just wait for the article to load up so I can give you an in-depth analysis Swimming pool in Sudbury closes due to swimmer pooping in the water. Our swimmer, uh, the uh, Kingfisher Leisure Centre in Sudbury, the official spokesman said our swimming pool is currently closed to the public due to an unknown swimmer accidentally pooping in the water. Well, I don't think he's that unknown, or she, it will be the one with brown trunks on. Anyway, this is the bit I like. Where is it? If you are swimming with us today between 3.40 and 4pm, it is recommended that you shower thoroughly if you have not already done so. <laughs> oh, I love it. Oh dear, I suppose it's quite, quite important, but... There you go, so the poop happened between 3.40 and 4 o'clock, so if that was you, I hope you enjoyed it. Just got a text message. You may have seen the news this morning about an incident near Westminster. Streets around Millbank, Parliament Square and Victoria Gardens have been cordoned off. Westminster Tube Station is also closed. Ooh, I was there the other day, wasn't I? In fact, I'm going back to London next. Wednesday. There you go, you're more likely to get run over in the street than you are to get run over by perhaps a terrorist, I don't know. Perhaps it's just someone gone loony. Perhaps it's that lady drinking the car Kestrel Super. <laughs> she done well to get to London that quick. Mind you, she was in a hurry. Who knows? Anyway, stay safe. I've had a really busy day. So just for a minute or two sometimes, I'll stop in the forest. And this evening it's absolutely quiet. Do you know, I didn't realise till today, the other day when my van went in for some repairs, they had to reprogram the ECU. And uh, I thought yesterday, oh, van's a little, seems a little bit odd. And uh, they have reset my speed limiter, which was at 70, to 62. It's surprising how much slower 8 miles an hour feels. But do you know what? I think I might just leave it as it is. Live life in the slow lane. It's the tortoise that wins the race. Anyway, it's half six already. So I will be getting home. Today I have mostly been listening to The Complete Guide to Everything with Tim and Tom, a couple of guys in New York. Hey, Tony! How you doing? <laughs>